Atlantis, a word that draws the attention of underwater adventurers and land lovers alike. Tales of a lost city and tales of Party Central. In this episode, we're taking on Atlantis, the marina and resort, to see what all the fuss is about. Dive in as we share some laughs, tears, and surprises. Uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm pretty excited. I got to go free diving this morning. We all went free diving. The boys took me to a shipwreck that they found. It was like 22, 25 metres deep. We're currently moving the boat because there's no wind, it's dead flat, can't sail today. So we're going to a place that we actually never thought we would go to because it wasn't really our scene, but now we've got a kid who would love to go see the water park. We've heard it's really exciting. Yeah, a couple of cruisers that have cruised around this area a lot said to me that you should probably go. We're going to Whitland. We're going to Whitland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where Jessica Alba worked in the movie Into the Blue, which I watched as a kid. I always wanted to go. Oh, I didn't know that. The Bahamas was on my list as a child. It's starting to feel pretty exciting. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> This 154-acre ocean-themed resort is located on Paradise Island and is about four decades old. The entire resort is an open-air habitat with 14 lagoons and what we later learned, over 50,000 animals. We're looking forward to seeing how our little ones handle all the stimulus. We did it, Lenny! No! <laughs> we did it! Probably what I was most excited about was the ease of getting off and on the boat again. So I took the opportunity to go for a run before the day's adventures. And no doubt, eating and drinking too much over the next few days. Remember we went and we said, can we go to the water park? And the lady said no. Mm. That wasn't nice, was it? I wanted to vlog because we pretty much haven't picked up the camera since we got here. We got here last night and walked probably... <laughs> Walked for 20 minutes to get to the water park. We really wanted to take Lenny on the water slide. He was so excited. He kept talking about it. We got there. The lady said, do you have your key? We said, no, we don't have our key. We haven't checked into the marina yet. And she said, well, I can't let you pass without a key. And we were like, do you think, like, can you call up the marina? And is there any way we can get past you? And she was like, it's on our list of seven rules or something. No key, no pass. And Lenny just burst into tears. He was so sad he wouldn't get to go on the water slide. So we walked for 20 minutes to get back unsuccessful night and we all got dressed up tonight to go out for dinner and all dressed up with nowhere to go. Are we going to try it? Are we going to attempt it? I don't know. <laughs> What's that one got on his head? We've been having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's David's last night. Sorry, it's been a terrible day today, David. Well, that's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, keep pushing. I should have actually filmed Sarah leaving, but she's um, she's on a date tonight with another guy that she met here in the marina, and I dressed her all up, put her in one of my dresses, and I wish I filmed her. She was all smiley and giggly, and she looked amazing. So this is the third time since we've been here that someone has asked if, <laughs> if our pram is electric. <laughs> we found a place to hang out, and the kids were behaving, luckily. It would be David's last night on board before he jumped ship for another short period of time again. So a little celebration was in order. We even found Sarah again a while later. Her date had gone well, but being the respectful lady that she is, she wanted to come find us to spend the rest of the night with. After a good night out on the town, we awoke determined to finally experience Atlantis, come hell or high water. With our new plastic key in hand and one hefty deposit later, we walked over to the water park. 
Every way we turned, we ended up back at the casino in Atlantis. It didn't matter what path I took, they just all led there. And this reminded me of the concept of the eternal return, which Nietzsche wrote about in Thus Spake Zarathustra. And it is similar to something which Max Tegmark, who has a couple of books I read on artificial intelligence, has previously spoken about. The basic premise proceeds from the assumption that the probability of a world coming into existence exactly like our own is non-zero. Then, if time is infinite, our existence, our existence must, must recur, recur an infinite, an infinite number, of number of times. This has all happened before, and it will all happen again. And like Rome of old, all roads lead to that friggin' casino. It also reminded me of the Endless Staircase, and also this Benny Hill skit. The middle bit here would be the casino. I don't, I don't know, it could be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, that's so steep. Ah, oh, and what? This is where Jessica Alba worked. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, where did he go? Are you scared? No. I'm really satisfied with the scary one. I'm gonna go down the nice one now. Somehow, mum and dad managed to have fun before we'd take Lenny on his first water park adventure. I felt terribly guilty about this, but also at the same time, not. <laughs> what I did feel guilty about was the thousands of sea animals kept in captivity and for supporting Atlantis. We'd done hardly any research before coming here, apart from organising our marina reservation. And had I known all that I knew now about the resort, maybe we would have thought twice about coming. But we were here now, so we decided to stick it out. Oh, Riley and Sarah have been so kind as to give me the morning off this morning. Kind of don't know what to do with myself. I've actually been reading my book. I found my own little corner here in the resort. I've got a little pool all to myself. Um, but anyway, this morning before we take Lenny to the water park, I just wanted to share with you guys Something we've recently become addicted to, you might have seen a few episodes ago, we shared with you Athletic Greens. We don't have a lot of room on board to keep a lot of things, so I'm glad that AG1 is kind of our one-stop shop to cover our bases. <laughs> So I guess a few reasons why this has actually been the only greens powder to stick is because it tastes amazing. It kind of has a hint of apple. Athletic Greens is truly a great company to be supporting for a number of reasons. And it's so easy to make. So you just mix one scoop or one travel pack for every eight ounces of water. That's it, you mix it with water. You could also put it in a smoothie if you wanted to. You don't need to be an athlete to drink this. In my opinion, modern day life itself is kind of athletics, especially if you're a mum or you have busy days. Guys, there's a reason we're drinking it every day and we're happy to be recommending this product to you. For starters, AG1 is based on what the latest science indicates is essential to human health and they're constantly updating their formula. It's high in antioxidants, prebiotics, probiotics and is a superfood complex. It supports your gut health, digestion, immunity and most noticeably to me, my energy levels. Athletic Green's gonna give you guys a free one year supply of their vitamin D and five travel packs for free. Those are super handy. Uh, you can just pop them in a bag or a backpack, take them with you anywhere if you're on the go. Um, or with your first purchase of AG1. I'll pop the link in the description below. Let us know if you've already tried it and what you think of it. And pretty happy to be rocking a brand that we actually love and use every single day. Cheers. Oh, it's in the water. I know, me 
too. You nearly ready to hop in? Yeah. All right. Did I get on this big blue one? Yeah. Or this one? Let's get down the big blue guys come on Lenny the sun is shining and there's a glare there's that glare on the water again and we're ready to leave the marina this time we're gonna be taking Riley's cousin Jack Jack's here you guys remember Jack uh, he's been in the show so many times now how much sail tape have you got he's here with his girlfriend so we're gonna take him to this island around the corner for a couple of nights a really hot hot tub and I love hot showers hey to the point where anytime you hop in the shower with me you're like you have to, to make it cold and I'm like don't you touch my temperature <laughs> who else loves really really hot showers out there like burning hot you have a feather in your head yeah it's the one Lenny goes I think Riley and I enjoyed the water park more than Lenny did he just wants to swim with oh, his goggles on definitely yeah I was acting all cool at the top like I was saying to you why are you scared I'm astonished that you are you've swam with it. sharks sailed across and you've taken a reef in 55 knots of wind and then I came to the edge and there is a vertical drop so yeah. and I went to scream but I, I, I just went <laughs> down the bottom it was oh very gosh. it sounded <laughs> defecatory <laughs> not good to make those noises in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, that lady was just But yeah, that was awesome. That was wicked. I'm really ready to move on from here though. Yeah, that was a treat. It's gonna be good to leave, we feel recharged. It's really good to go from some, from places that are quite remote, back into civilization, get all your stuff done, and then go on Fine. from there. You guys, we're going on date night. Check out the outfit, I'm so excited. I haven't been able to dress up in forever. Please film me, darling. I look fabulous. <laughs> well done, babe. All right, let's look at your glorious. Can you give me a spin? No, I'm not giving you a spin. He's got proper shoes on, everyone. It's very rare that Riley and I get date nights these days. We have our crew, Sarah, to thank for these last couple of glorious events. What up, girl? We just left Atlantis. We stayed so, so long. The sky is bright and clear today. We decided to disappear. We're going to some remote islands with Riley's cousin Jack and Etta, his girlfriend. So we've got an esky full of ice, hoping, hoping to get some fish. We haven't speared a fish in a while, so that would be nice. So yeah, I've, I don't know how many nautical miles it is to Rose Island, but... Uh, we're beating into it, so it's going to be 
double whatever it looks like. So beating into it, for those of you who aren't sailors, means going into the wind. So you zigzag, you can't go directly into the wind. Hey, Jack. Yeah? What have you been up to? Where have you been? Why are you here? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm back. I've been uh, in Croatia, just moved to Berlin, and now I've been working in Mexico and the Bahamas a bit. So. Yeah, bumped into you guys again. Pretty lucky. Yeah, just travelling around carefully and keeping busy. Cool. All, all you can do, really. Yeah. Yeah. Good to have you back, Jack. <laughs> Good to see you guys. And meet Darwin for the Hello. first time. currently performing the miracle of sailing upwind. We are. Uh, I don't really, I still can't really wrap my head, at, I still can't really wrap my head around it. What do you mean? Like sailing, sailing up? upwind? It sounds like it should be impossible. It's like we're breaking some fundamental laws of physics. Yeah, it's pretty incredible that you can sail into wind. That is bizarre, really. Yeah. I haven't thought about that in a while. So we've got five little miracle workers on board and, and two passengers. I found in the past that to perform that miracle, it works best if both dagger boards are down and for the non-sailors, the main sail is in, sheeted in hard and tight, and same with the head sail. In, hard, tight and flat. And then you can point up into the wind. You just reminded me, thank you. I'm spinning out, now I'm starting to think about the universe and our place in it. <laughs> Here's Jack's bag, and this is Etta. Holiday. Yeah, it's a lot warmer here than back in Berlin. Yeah, hey? definitely. <laughs> and how are you this week, Sarah? Good, yeah. Been uh, a fun week over at Atlantis, so nice to get sailing again. Unfortunately, I was feeling a bit sick, but it's nice to be at the helm. Yeah, you seem fun now. Yeah. Yeah, we've been in that marina for a week, and so when we left port, myself and Sarah were feeling queasy for sure, but um, we're on our way to Rose Island, and we're nearly there. And we're all feeling great right about now. Lenny's asleep inside. Darwin's been a good boy. The anchorage that we're going to probably isn't going to be protected enough. So I'll make another call on that this afternoon. So the anchorage is kind of shaped like this. And it looks like it should be protected everywhere if we're in the middle there. But I've read that that may not be the case. There's a bit of reef up the top here. For a small family, that's pretty much a disaster. We had to leave there for sure. So once we get here, we'll reassess. Hopefully it's all good. And then we'll either go to the marina down the bottom or hang out and spearfish and free dive and hang around and have an awesome time on Rose Island for the next few days. Hey guys. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. So, so I hear from many people, Elena, that they're all at sea at the moment and at the bitter end, of all of this COVID stuff, particularly with regards to the nailing of colours to respective masts. OK. So if you'd prefer to give a wide berth to all of that sort of stuff and like the cut of our jib, then I suggest <laughs> that you listen to Elena right now. As you guys know, we're hosting a regatta this spring in the Bahamas. We're about to give away another cabin. Not when we're sailing, mate. So this week's challenge is a photo challenge, fancy dress. As you guys know, we like to get dressed up every now and then. PG rated, of course. We want you guys Good to group. post a photo that's ocean or sailing Levagabond themed on Instagram with the hashtag ChooseMeSLV. After 72 hours of this video going live, we're going to pick the three best photos that we think are the funniest or You have to be best. a patron. You do have to be a patron. And we're going to post the we're three best... We're encouraging people to sign up, obviously. We're going to post the three best photos on Patreon and our patrons will help us pick the best ones. And you will win the berth. What are you laughing at? So get creative, have fun. Are you laughing because we're pirates? Yeah. Where's your outfit? We wanted to say a huge thank you to the Moorings for their support in providing us with these beautiful boats. They're lending us a Moorings 5000 Sailing Catamaran, a Moorings 4000 Sailing Cat and a Moorings 433 Power Cat. And the two runners up will receive a $100 gift voucher for our online store to pick up a shirt or a hat or something nice. Good luck, have fun and thank you guys so much for your support. Bon voyage.
How many of you are going crazy looking at this rope on my head? Man, that's cut into me. Tune in next week for the sail to Rose Island with Jack, Etta and our crew. Plenty more beautiful locations to share with you guys and more laughs to be had. Are you coming? Hi. Oh, Lenny! <laughs> <laughs>